Well, less than 1% of people in Johnson County use the Joe, the public bus service. But tonight, those 1% told Sayed Shabir they really need it. Sayed? Well, Mark, the ridership on the Joe is actually up 10%, but the funding from the state and federal government has actually gone down, and it's forced the county to make more than $400,000 worth of cuts. For riders, it means longer waits at bus stops like this one, and for some, their entire route will be gone. Among the 2,700 people who ride the Joe every day is Gregory Davidson, who says the county transit system is saving him a ton of money in gas. $60 a week times four weeks, $240 uh, a month, uh, 12 months times 10 years. That's nearly $30,000 he saved over the last decade by taking one of these to work instead of one of these. It helps to pay for my college, my kids' college fund. He's under budget. The Joe not not so much. The state and federal government have reduced funding for the service, forcing the county to make some heavy cuts. At first, a quarter of the service was on the chopping block, but after an uproar from riders, the Transportation Council agreed to cut five routes, two of which serve DeSoto and Spring Hill, and barely get 15 riders a day. Still, many of the riders say for some, taking away the bus is taking away their livelihood. There's one lady I know I, we saw a comment that said, I can't afford to buy and maintain a car on wages at the fast food restaurant where she works. It's very difficult. Also difficult, transit officials say, was making these cuts. They said they spent eight months researching inefficiencies and were forced to find ways to meet their demand and meet their budget. Now, the council's recommendations will be presented to the county commissioners, and if they are approved, then they will be implemented on January 2nd of 2013. Now, if you want specifics on the five routes that have been cut, you can find details on our website, KSHB.com. We're live tonight in Mission, Sayed Shabir, 41 Action News.